24 of Advent. This is it. It's finally Christmas. Tonight is the main night to celebrate Christmas in France, as it is in many other countries. So today, the entire chateau is a hive of activity as we prepare for tonight's big party. And as you can see, I'm not really any better than I was yesterday, but I don't think I can spend the day in bed today. I'm going to have to try to get up. But first, I'm going to go downstairs and show you what's happening in the chateau. I can't believe you're using a sick workforce. Yes, the time has come. It's the light ones. I'll take the heavy one. Okay. Actually, that is very light, to be fair. How is it going, Tonfall Stephen, out on <laughs> the light fantastic? I think this is the, the lumberjack song is needed. Uh, lumberjack and I, but the peacock is, um, is... Oh, yes! Like little peacock! Really nice, uh, piano. Have you seen the little one practising? Oh, yes. You see, we've got a moat around the fountain now, very important to protect the fountain. And also, you have peacocks, peacocks in the uh, and look at Pavlina's stunning wreath around the front door. I love it. Oh, oh I've been done by a lock. Get okay, right back. You've been undone. Hey, this one's open. This one's open. Hurrah! Welcome. You're Michael, and this is your home, the 16th century <laughs> Chateau de la Lance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of those sort of pinchy moments, isn't it? Wee. Do you think we should have moved the chair first, or are you just going to carry all the chairs with you on the way? Oh, I see. In that one, you're just going to lay gently down, are you? Was that the plan all along? Yeah. Oh, this is where my bit becomes a bit harder. Oh, oh, it doesn't fit. Wait, doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Need to cut the top off. Put it down. What did they say? Measure twice, cut once. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if anyone has secretly trained the peacocks to position themselves quite so superbly in the courtyard. They're always perching right at the top of the trees in the fountain. Ah, oh, Percy, you're doing one of the most critical Christmas things. Well, you need a fire on Christmas. Yeah, you do. In this part of the world, anyway. <laughs> it's perfect. Now this is critical, <laughs> absolutely critical. Do you want to explain what you're doing, Natty? Yes, I think Philip, last time Philip bought some bits yes. and organised this. He said, I will take some photos, let's print it out. So everyone knows where everything then, exactly. goes. Exactly, so now you have photos inside the cabinets, so you can see where that goes. And this was Maria before yes. she left. So she took photos there. we know where to put things before she comes back. <laughs> So every time to time we can clear. That's a really and good idea. It's going to be tidy. So Tati Nat, you're making stuffed tomatoes. Yes. With yes. tuna. With tuna. And what is that? Oh, that's for the pulled pork. Like that. Yes. Yeah. Don't we put the oven on for the pulled pork? Mummy, I think they've probably got control over when the oven in. goes on. C'est pas que tu m'en kikine, mais tu dois mettre Isabelle. Isabelle. Mummy, she would have put it in without turning the oven on, and then there would have been no Christmas Eve at all. I hope we have enough gas. <laughs> You are a little ray of Christmas sunshine, mummy. <laughs> the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> this is amazing how I can wind you up just like that. Just like that. Well, you wouldn't be a mother if you couldn't, would you? That's the whole point. <laughs> the verse of Jesus, full of hope. Well, I am all humanity without forgetting how many people in the world so you cannot do it. You we are very privileged to be where we are doing what we are doing and be together. We're so Are lucky. You? Together. Here, yeah, yeah. yeah, Not everyone can do this. No. I think I found the best spot in the kitchen here. Just keeping an eye on things. Yes. A managerial role I see myself in today. Are, are you supervising Christmas from the Chaison? Absolutely. I actually genuinely haven't got a clue what's going on, but I'm sure I'm a big part of it. <laughs> what are you making myself? I'm making bread. Because if we have bread, then everything will be fine. You're right. Um, there's actually quite a massive pile just behind you if you say that, but... Yes, but you And what's happening enough. next to me here? You never have enough. You need them? Excellent. Uh, did you check in the pantry? Good. They are ready. As soon as I put these a bit better, because with the cling film, everything is moving out of place. And that's going to go in the fridge. 
and wait for tonight. This is going to be pulled pork. <gasps> Slow cooked pulled pork that I'm just groping at present, actually. <laughs> just giving it a light tender massage, you know. That's gonna be delicious. It's going to be so good. So we've got here, who, do you know who sent you this? You have Central Barbecue. Mm -hmm. This is Memphis style. Oh yeah, someone sent a huge box. Oh. The barbecue essential. Whoever sent it, thank you very much. You've made my day. We're gonna have a Texas bo Boxing Day barbecue. Oh. oh. Fabulous Christmas trousers today, may I say, Michael? Thank you very much. They're Won't my, you like my the Stephen open. inspired. Do you want water? Please. Yes, yeah. please. Trousers. I'll give you those to be covered by water and put them on these. Okay. Do you want to see a, a bit of a bit of gratuitous kneading? Perfect. Absolutely. Who doesn't? Okay, good. And we have the 36. He likes making a mess. I know, but the table is a bit old and full of holes. It's a working table. It needs to be. Needs to be. Needs to be kneaded. Kneaded. Oh, I think Philip, Philip's really rubbing off on me. So I did it. This is now a mini tree. This is a mini tree. We could put this somewhere as a tree. Um, it's a bit on the spindly side. Yeah. It's cute. Though. This looks incredible. Yeah, I think, I think it needs a bit of clipping around the top because it's a bit lopsided. There were only two left in the shop, yeah. but I think actually it's so far nicer than I thought. If I take off a few of these branches, it's a little bit of a haircut. It's to me, slight. it starts to feel like Christmas the minute there's a real tree yeah. in the house. Yeah. It looks lovely. It looks we need to gorgeous. get the decorations. I'm going to try and get dressed. I'm going to have a bath and try and get dressed. You're lucky. What? Because I, oh, you've got no hot water. Well, it turned on, it came on last night. It came night. on again. Yeah. What happened was it had tripped its switch and the boiler had gone off. But we've, we've, no one's brave enough to try and have a bath. <laughs> I have to pull it together. I've drawn a bath. I filled it with lots of Epsom salts. And I'm going to try and transform this. It's a, it's a lovely day for it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you having, have you having a lot of fun out there? <laughs> I thought this was above my pay grade. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit damp. <laughs> I'm up. I'm dressed, I'm wearing Father Christmas earrings, and I have caked makeup onto my face. I feel exactly the same, but I am determined to come and see what everyone's doing and to at least be in the Christmas spirit. Things are looking lovely in here. <laughs> so you're doing the blinis? Yes, we're doing blinis, we're doing, we're doing rolls, we're doing stuffing, we're doing uh, caramelized onions and an apple compote and, and pulled pork and a ham. But we didn't make that, to be fair. Oh, that's the ham Andrew and Ricardo yeah, got. Yes, yeah. Stephen put it all together. Oh my goodness, doesn't this look delicious? It even came with a knife. Yes. Yeah. That's lucky considering how blunt our are. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And what are you making? What are these rolls? They are just aperitif. Aperitif nibbles. nibble rolls. With some anchovy paste. Mmm. Quick. And the uh, sausages. Delicious. Catherine has given me a sausage roll to try. Mmm, mmm. Better than sausage. Anchovy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Now I am trying a sausage roll. These are really good. No, I haven't tried one of those. Mm. Where did you get those? Tati has been making them. I was just there. It's favouritism, Michael. How did you get one of those? <laughs> Michael and I are about to start on the tree in the dining room. Philip is decorating Jerry and Kat's bedrooms because, oh yes, Scott Man and Kat are on their way. Mummy and Percy have gone to pick them up at the airport. And just before we start the tree, I'm going to run upstairs and set up my bedroom to watch Jerry and I on British TV in the Christmas special of Escape to the Chateau DIY when we were making goat's cheese ice cream. So I'm going to set it all up. I'm going to wheel this over in front of the bed means that we will have a blocked view of the Christmas tree, sadly, but hopefully worth it to see the Christmas special. 
I wouldn't usually be able to watch this because we're on channel 4 in the UK which you cannot generally see in France so I need to use a VPN just to be able to watch myself on TV and NordVPN have very kindly offered to sponsor this video with an ad. As I mentioned before I've been using NordVPN for years long before they approached me for sponsorship and it's the way that I've been able to watch us on TV all these years and it's incredibly easy. All I have to do is go to my NordVPN app. There we go. I just click on United Kingdom and that's it. As far as any website or app is concerned, I am now in the UK and I wish that traveling to the UK were quite that easy. As you know, we've just had a whistle stop tour of Europe where we did go to the UK, but it took us much longer than a single click because we went via Germany and the Netherlands, then over to the UK and back via Paris. Every moment was such good fun, but the entire way I was using NordVPN for a far more important reason than watching an episode on TV. I was using it to protect all of my information from my laptop because of course running a chateau continues to happen whether or not I am here. I still have to get into my banking apps, my emails, I have to do all of my administration, I'm constantly using my passwords. And whenever you're traveling using Wi-Fi's, especially public Wi-Fi's, they can be compromised by criminals who want to steal your information. So I keep NordVPN running the entire time on my laptop and on my phone so that everything that I do is encrypted and no one can steal any of my information. The more fun reason is to see Jerry with some goats. And one of the reasons I chose NordVPN in the first place is that speed tests have confirmed it is the fastest VPN out there, so it doesn't interfere with streaming at all. So now we just go to channel four. Across the French countryside, our beautiful There's lovely little Christmassy music on it now. Little jingle bells in the background. Okay, this is it, I'm pausing it. If you'd like to try NordVPN for yourself, then just go to nordvpn.com forward slash Chateau Diaries and you will receive four months free if you sign up for a two year plan. And it's completely risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Okay, I'm gonna go and see what's happening downstairs. But whilst I do that, I'm going to leave you with footage of making ice cream for tonight's party in exactly the same way that Jerry and I did on the Christmas special on TV. So I went to Guilain's Goat Farm with Philip this time and we made goat's milk ice cream. We've come to our local goat's cheese farm, La Ferme Auberge de Poumoué, to make a goat's milk ice cream. I made one last time I was here and that was filmed for British TV. It's a Christmas special and it was a duck pate ice cream, but it was really good. It sounds crazy, but I'm sort of obsessed with discovering savory ice creams and I served it as gingerbread with a little bit of duck pate, normal duck pate on top, and then the duck pate ice cream with little bits of nut and figs, and it was amazingly good. But today we're going to try something different, but before we do that, we have to thank the goats. And whilst we haven't had the milk from the baby goats, I feel that I want to thank them first because they're incredibly cute. Hello, you are dying, aren't you? Yes, but you're not allowed to eat the finger. No, you have to give the finger back. No, it's supposed to be the other way around. I'm supposed to be eating the goat's milk, silly. Hello. They're adorable. They're very cute. So the idea is that we're going to use the goat's milk and goat's cheese to make goat's cheese ice cream. Excuse me. No, the coat's for me. You're already wearing your lovely coats. Because I'm going to serve a big cheese board on Christmas Eve. It's your favourite one. The I know, the Pumwe. So my favourite cheese from here, and leave your hair alone. My favourite cheese I from here. Your hair. My favourite cheese from here is the Pumwe. It's delicious. And I think an iced Pumwe with a hint of honey is going to be amazing. And I'll also serve a warm cheese, probably a baked camembert or mondor. And then we'll have obviously the normal room temperature cheeses. So it will be a temperature sensation as well as a taste sensation. I think baby goats might be my spirit animal, like hedgehogs for you, Philip. No. You think that I had goats in a previous life? Might have baby been a shepherd there. to take off your coat. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Okay, I guess we better go and start cooking, otherwise there'll be no food on Christmas Eve. I think I might have to wash my hands before starting cooking. Aren't I going to have to do that because of you, sir? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, this is cute. It's too cute. Les fromages de Pumwe sont nos amis pour la vie. The cheeses from Pumwe are our friends for life. 
Ah, uh, Guilain, you have the Pumwe. Hi, it's so good to see you. That uh, is a Pumwe. This is a special cheese that only you produce, oui. named after this farm. Oui. And this is what we are going to transform into an ice cream. Je peux pas attendre. Ça sera bon. Je suis certain. For the goat's cheese and honey ice cream, Guilain has made the calculation of exactly what ingredients should go in. You have to make sure you have the right proportions of dry ingredients to wet ingredients and the right amount of fat in it. We're going to be using one liter of goat's milk straight from the mothers of the goats that you just met. And to that, we need to add 310 grams of fat. So in our case, we've chosen crème fraîche. And then there'll be a little bit of powdered milk added as well, because it's actually very important to have dry ingredients added to the mix. That's 100 grams of powdered milk. Then the actual flavor is coming from the goat's cheese. You can see all of the goat's cheeses that they produce behind me. And we're going to use 70 grams of goat's cheese using their pouwe. That's their special one. It's named after the farm itself. Then we need some egg yolks, 125 grams of those. And finally, honey. 200 grams of honey, and that's what's going to give us our goat's cheese and honey ice cream. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell, a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for Santa tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree I'm just going with Guilain's mother and we're going to choose the cheeses that we want for Christmas Because I got lots of cheeses but I'm waiting to get the goat's cheese here Ah oui, j'adore celui-là Peut-être deux comme ça parce que nous sommes quand même une vingtaine de personnes Poumoué Poumoué, oui, j'adore J'ai des secs, il est un peu moins sec en dessous This is a poumoué with ash coating. This is my favorite one that they do. And we're going for one very dry one and one creamier one. We're going for one bouche because, well, it's Christmas and uh, usually it's a chocolate log that they do in front. We shall do a cheese log. And finally, one valancé, which is a very famous shape in this region. C'est parfait, merci. Hi. Hi. Dana, I you got some beverage. <gasps> Look what I found. This you do need whenever you are making cheese, right? Mm, look can't. at the name. But it's draft. So Scottish. Yes. <laughs> well, French. Well, Scottish. Yes, because your advent had the Scottish... The tartan. Tartan. Yes. Yes. You found basically tartan. That's Scottish wonderful. Tartan. You're a genius. Thank We're in the theme. Oh, the yeah. Theme. And as you like blue, look, it's all blue. Oh. <laughs> Don't you think it's amazing? Nice. <laughs> Life is good right now. If this is not a French Christmas, I don't know what is. Monsieur Fromage and Diddy. This is one of my favorite cheeses in the world, the Pumoué. It is so creamy. Incredible. Gila is pasteurizing the milk first. The reason it has to be pasteurized is ice cream, once it's cold, you can keep it up for a year in the freezer. Therefore, it has to be completely sterile first. I'm not the only person making ice cream today. Dana has a, honestly a genius ice cream. And if you want to find out how to make it, then go over to her channel, Dana's Cookbook. It's an English afternoon tea ice cream. Yes. Made with scones, jam, cream, exactly. a little bit of tea. Uh, yes. And we, tea. We in, uh, fuse, infuse. infuse tea in the milk. I mean, it's genius <laughs> and it tastes delicious. So do go and check that out. It is honestly amazing. And it's such a good idea. Oh, excuse me, I'm very busy with you. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a sound. Carolers are singing outside our door. Lovely songs we all heard before. As they walk from house to house. To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day. We've got it up to 80 degrees. That means it is now pasteurized. And we've mixed everything together. We are good to go. This is the incredible Italian machine. Yes. Hello. It's amazing it can go in warm like this. It has to, because it has to be liquid. Because when it's getting cold, yeah. it's less liquid. We have the bell of joy is ready. I can't wait to taste it, I really can't wait. I mean, I probably won't be able to taste it because the entire time we've been waiting, I've been nibbling on the last little bit of goat's cheese. In fact, I'll just nibble a little bit more. Just eat the entire thing. No, no, Philip. 
no, no. What's the French saying again? On n'en parle plus? The French say, please eat it so we don't have to talk about it anymore. On n'en parle plus. Um, but we're going to talk about this one a little bit longer. Oh la la! Il faut goûter. Ah oui, là je peux vous aider avec ça. Il sait goûter. This is the taste. It's superb. It's not just good. The honey really comes through. Even though, actually, we nearly halved the honey. We reduced the honey from 200 grams to 125. Otherwise, it would have been just a honey ice cream with a bit of goat's cheese. But this is much more balanced. Cheers and thank you, Gila. Merry Advent. I'm going to go and see how Philip is getting on with the decoration of the rooms. I think he's sorting through all of the baubles in Diswise. Well, this is one of the rooms we can't use, sadly, this year because of the wall that needs to be changed. So I've been sorting the baubles and these are more like the soft golds and the creams. And yes. More strong golds. I think that would look very good on the tree downstairs. Okay, and I've got all of these for the tree downstairs. There are old ones. I've got more, but I have to Great. do, let's see, three garlands and two trees. I'm going to go have a look in the attic, but we still got Amazing. There. Let and me know what else we've got. I've come up to Jerry's room. I have some lovely little decorations to put on his tree. He has a darling little tree. I think that'll make him really happy. And of course, a tartan throw. So here we've got very traditional reds and golds. And a darling little gingerbread man. Pavlina, thank you. A hundred million thank yous for doing the flowers when I can't. Oh, I just love doing them. It's great. It looks so wild and free, which I really love. And you're working with difficult flowers because the florist had shut. So we had to get the gerberas, which a bit like 1980s have come to Christmas. Yeah, I love them. Um, they're very hardy. Um, so... <laughs> I think that under difficult circumstances, you are doing a fabulous job. And it's got the feel of a kind of Scottish heathery woodland okay. which is going to go brilliantly with tartan <laughs> thank you yes, i was going for something wild um so like greenery like pine or something yeah i think just a bit more greenery would be great look sweetie what i found <gasps> the little christmas, christmas trees little saucisson uh, sausage christmas trees christmas trees and i said next to the hand which Andrew has provided. We just decorate it with the whole. Oh, that's going tree. to be young. Yes. Love it. Good. Michael has decided to live underneath the Christmas tree for the rest of the season on the underfloor heating. It's still wonky. Still wonky? Yeah. It's like supremely wonky. Yeah, you just stay there, exactly. You like the tree. It must smell nice. In feeding little mince pies. <laughs> it looks better. Still a little wonky, but it's better than it was. The lights are going on and Pavlina's come to help us, so it's, it's a good team in here. I'm going to admit, I did the bit at the bottom and I have done a really, really bad job. Yeah, the sickness is really showing in the decorating. We need to even that up. You two are doing a much better job. Here we go. <laughs> Done. <laughs> um... Good for us, a magical loop. <laughs> Michael just went tearing out of the room. Oh, oh should be running. What happened, Michael? What happened? It's a disaster. It's okay. You'd forgotten it. Yeah. It's okay. Tonto Steven saved you. Yes. He's the one that walked through and said bread. Well, it's another triumph. Well done. So this is just a white loaf. It... Just a white loaf. It'll be nice to join all of us for dinner. Okay, you're going to put the topper on there, fella. Yes. For Jerry, we've gone full on tinsel. This is an old school proper tree. Little people. Well, if you want to know what candy canes. Original inspiration was. What was it? Uh, it's candy cane. The entire thing is candy cane. Oh, <laughs> and gingerbread man. Yes, but I'm not sure if he has a sweet tooth, does he? I just think he's going to love the retroness of it. Well, that's what I thought. And I wanted the reds because of tartan. To me, this tree reminds me of my childhood Christmases with Jerry. Good. We were always together. And yeah, this, this is Christmas. It's so cute. Shall we open out the blanket a bit on his bed? Make it a bit more tartan in here. Sure. And here we have the superb advent calendar that Irene sent for Jerry. So I'll put that, oops, just there. He'll be able to open all of those tonight. 
The baubles are going on. I found the box of giant baubles. That's so good. The car just arrived. I think it's Kat and Scott Man. Oh. I dress. Hello. <laughs> you look stunning. Thank you. I figured the first time in 10 days I should put on a little oh, bit of the lipstick. I makeup. love it. I know. I think somebody just drove up. I think it's Scott Is Man that, and are Kat. These new I think it's Scott Man. Hello, hello, hello. It is Scott Man! Merry Christmas! I love you! I love you too, darling. Look at the tart and all that ready. Cat! I can't even see you in the darkness, but I know you're there. The smiles there, the smiles there. Welcome. Thanks. Merry Christmas! Home sweet home. Yay! <laughs> Just in time. Here we go, Gerald. But it's this. Your room. Oh, look it's at this! It's a tartan Christmas! Oh, look at this! It's beautiful! And I know you'll want your Coca-Cola on a special stand, Gerald. So, there we go. Oh, very cute! <laughs> and we decided that this was most like the trees that we had growing up together. Yes. With tinsel. That's it! That's it! It's, it's our childhood. And have you noticed who's on it? Who's that? Scott, man. how did you get him? He was sent as a gift a year or two ago. Oh, isn't that beautiful? At least you're matching the room. I don't know how I knew you would be. Just took a wild guess. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. No, it's Christmas. No, no. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. This is going to take a lot of my time. Yes. <laughs> This is, this is going to be the best thing ever. But Gerald, now you're here, yes. we should run over and watch ourselves on TV yesterday. I've set the TV up. Oh, right. right. Yes, I've got it all set up. We can go and watch it. OK, let's go and watch let's it then. Go, go, go. Three boring pairs of socks and tights and one exciting pair of socks. Top. <laughs> Scottman has arrived. That's Percy's. <laughs> <laughs> I recognise that, please. When Chatelain creates a festive <gasps> Frankenstein. I hope it starts to look a bit more appetising. We're going to carry on watching this now that we're all together, reunited. And then it's time to get dressed and go downstairs for the big Christmas Eve party, which I will show all of you tomorrow on Christmas Day. And what is, and I can't believe it, the last of the Advent videos. So we'll see you all tomorrow. And as Christmas Eve is the main day in France, I think we can finally say Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Scottish Christmas! <laughs>